It is a heavyweight collision between Alexander Gustafson and Fabrizio Verdum. So here's the colorful Fai Cavallo translation go horse, Fabrizio Verdum. Coming up on 40 years old, remarkable to see this man realize a UFC heavyweight champion. Was a guy who sat at or near the top of this division for so much time, and then stunning Cain Velazquez back at UFC 188 to unify the UFC heavyweight titles. Fabricio Verdun under the bright lights once again tonight. Fabricio Verdun is now one of the elite of the elite in the UFC's heavyweight division. Although he started out his career as a grappler, his striking has grown to a level where he is absolutely devastating in the feet, and on the ground, he is amongst the best ever. As talented a stand-up fighter as there is in this UFC light heavyweight division, here is the two-time world title challenger, Alexander Gustafsson, has spent most of his UFC career in this top five, still has visions of bringing the belt back to Sweden, that quest continues tonight. Alexander Gustafsson is an ever-improving mixed martial arts fighter with incredible promise. He has a long reach, outstanding footwork, great striking and jiu-jitsu, and a love for the game. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Verdum is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 231 pounds. Gustafson will have the two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a DC first. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Mollen You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. We are underway. Well, still smack dab in the middle of this fighting drive. Here is Sweden's Alexander Gustafsson. Twice his fought with a UFC light heavyweight title. Twice came close to winning it as good a striker as we have in this 205 pound division. And he lands a nice kick. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? Fabricio Verdun is a full and complete mixed martial arts fighter, and although many know him for his incredible Brazilian jiu-jitsu, his takedowns are very good as well. Both fighters back to their feet now. Verdun gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. The inside leg kick is there by Alexander Gustafson. That one hurt. Oh, spinning back. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, the kick lands to the head there. Oh, oh kick to the face. He's got one here. Nice 
kick to the midsection. We cross the midpoint in round one. Big knee to the body. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Gustafson. He's going to a different look here, switching southpaw. It's now to go. Trademark inside leg kick there by Verdun. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Oh. Just missing on the uppercut there. Nice punch there by Verdun. Seconds remain in the round. to see another round, but multiple knockdowns there. Big round from Gustafson. A huge round, and his opponent should be commended for even making it out of that round because, boy, did he take some damage. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Alexander the Mauler Gustafson is one of the finest fighters in the UFC's light heavyweight division. He's incredibly tall for the weight class, has outstanding striking skills, and is constantly improving in his grappling and takedown defense. Gustafson gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Let me show you the total strikes. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Wow! Oh! Man, has his chin been tested early. Five seconds 
remain in the web. Verdun gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the last round. He's gonna step over and pull him out now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, round three coming up next. So the round is over, but not before major damage was done. Oh, Joe Rogan, a couple knockdowns for him in that round. Big round from Gustafson. Complete total dominance, and man, did he put a beating on his opponent. Amazing that the fight wasn't stopped. And here, another big shot lands, and another knockdown. And here, another clean shot lands, and another knockdown. What an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. Third round underway. Big left, left, left hand. Knee to the body. Play spinning back fist for the win. Yeah, Joe, a near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 18 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Alexander Bumbola Gustafsson. So congratulations to Alexander Gustafsson. You know he's got the entire nation of Sweden on his back, and he rises to the occasion yet again. I really feel like when Gustafsson puts it all together, he looks like the best light heavyweight on the planet. And you got to think just how exciting he is and how skilled a technician he is that he will eventually get that UFC gold before his career is said and done.